When we trust in Christ and acknowledge that his payment was made on our behalf, we are forgiven of our sins and blessed with salvation. God's perfect son was the only one who qualified to be our substitute, and Jesus did it all willingly. Before we can come to grips with anything God does, we must first acknowledge that his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. They are higher than ours, and this is in Isaiah chapter 55, verses 8. Also in Deuteronomy 32, verse 4, reminds us that he is the rock. His works are perfect, and all his ways are just. A God of truth and without injustice. Righteous and upright is he. A faithful God who does no wrong, upright and just is he. Therefore, the plan of salvation he has designed is perfect, just, and upright, and no one could have come up with anything better. The scripture says, For I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins, in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. And this is in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 and 4. Evidence affirms that the sinless Jesus bled and died on a cross. And most importantly, the Bible explains why Jesus' death and resurrection provide the only entrance to heaven. The judgment of the nations will take place when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all holy angels with him. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Before him shall he gather all nations. He shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divided his sheep. From the goats, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. And this is stated in Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 to 33. At this judgment, he will judge the living nations, and this is stated in Joel chapter 3, verses 11 to 16. At the white throne judgment, he will judge the wicked dead. And at this judgment, there will be no resurrection of the dead. At the great white throne, all the wicked dead are raised. And this is in Revelation chapter 20, verses 13, which says, The sea gave up the dead who were in it, and death and Hades delivered up the dead who were in them, and they were judged each one according to to his works.